commanders of HMAS Success, USS Barry, and HMAS Otago, members of parliament, senior official government, war veterans visiting, relatives of scouts and coast watchers, each and every one of you who are gathered here to be part of this program. And that is to, to celebrate the sixth anniversary of the Solomon Scouts and Coast Watchers Memorial, which is installed here, the pride of our nation. My friends, during these darkest hours in history, ladies and gentlemen, today I have the honor to join our patron and district officers and other government officials, planters, prospectors and missionaries. They had no distinguishing badge or insignia and were known only as Coast Watchers. With the arrival of the Japanese, they were given Australian Navy or military working together on the land, in the air, and on the sea and under the sea. And that's what ensured ultimate victory. Because without all those elements and our nations and friends combining efforts, this could have and likely would have been a different outcome. But today at this beautiful grateful. Thank you, Semper Fidelis. British High Commissioner, His Excellency David Ward, on behalf of the government and people of the United Kingdom. Last but not the least, Defence Attache Gar Heywood on behalf of the Armed Forces of the United Kingdom. Mr. Bill Quinn. <laughs> Mr. Timothy Urobo, Senior, 